In 1775, James Watt submitted a patent for a new and improved steam engine that powered the Industrial Revolution. This specific design was not the first or the best of all time, but it was enough to change the world in a way that humanity will never forget. I truly believe that the best way to create a better future is by looking back and understanding the past. So in my opinion, the most important question you can ask about the steam engine is... How does it work? This video was brought to you by Bright Sellers. This is the ideal gas law, and to put it together it took many years and a lot of scientists, but the message that it gives us is pretty simple. If you heat up a liquid, for example alcohol that has a boiling temperature of 78 degrees Celsius, it will transition from its liquid state into a gas, and because gas occupies more space than a liquid, it will also expand. In this case the gas does so by filling the balloon, but what if that is not the case? If you eat up a bottle of wine, you have a similar experiment as before, with a small difference that this time the gas can't expand, so it builds up and increases in pressure. And because pressure over a surface is a force, eventually something has to give. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it works! Popping corks out of bottles of wine is a cool party trick, but if your goal is to design an engine, you might want to use that pressure to push a piston. And maybe don't use alcohol as a working fluid. It's a little bit flammable. But you know what's not flammable? Water. And it's pretty abundant. And water is actually pretty inflammable. Unflammable? Non-flammable? It doesn't burn. So we got to a point where we can push the piston to one side of the cylinder. But that's only half of the work. For it to be considered an engine, we need to be able to push the piston to one side and then push it back to the other. To do that, we need to find a way to alternate the flow of steam between both sides of the cylinder. And to do that, we can easily solve the problem with a valve. Using a valve that is connected to the same shaft as the piston, it's possible to redirect the flow of steam with cleverly thought out channels and absolutely perfect timing. Now, theory is fun and all, but I want to make sure this design actually works. Also, I'm what you would call an engine nerd. I would love to build a steam engine, but let's make this interesting. I'm gonna make it transparent and mostly out of plastic. Can you hear it? Yes, it's a montage almost coming through. Get it? Because we're talking about the steam engine and trains used to have steam engines. Never mind, just roll the montage. Okay, so the engine is ready, I think. Um, I'm gonna give it a test. I set the pressure to two bars, which is more or less the minimum on my compressor. Let's give it a go to see if it works. In three, two, one. Oh, it's not going. Wait, one, wait. Ooh. Look at that, it's going. 
Yeah! Okay, so two bars doesn't seem to be the right pressure for this. I mean, this is 3D printed, there's a lot of friction. So I'm gonna raise the pressure to four bars and try it again. Okay, so that was four bars, but my compressor can go up to eight bars. So I'm going to put the pressure at the maximum and give it a try to see what happens. I'm betting the lid is, is going to come off, but I'm going to start slowly to see if it can hold on. I knew it. Come on, lid. Hold on. I don't want to glue you down because if I glue it down, I can't disassemble the engine. Yeah, it's coming off. I don't think the engine is ready to handle eight bars. Oh! oh, it works. Okay, it works even when the lid is off. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, of course, because as long as it can do half a cycle, it's gonna work. Yeah, that makes sense. But I would like to see it working with both lids on. Come on. Sponsor time. Do you know that moment in restaurants when they bring the wine and you start swirling it around and take a sniff so it seems like you know what you're doing? Yeah, me neither. I'm Portuguese and that automatically makes me a wine expert. It is in my genes to savor the most exquisite fermented grape juice while telling inappropriate jokes that ruins everyone's dinner party. If you're like me and you're looking for the best wine cellars, search no more and use the services of Bright Cellars. Actually, Bright Cellars is much more than just a wine cellar. They offer a personalized service where you answer a 7-question quiz from what they get the best wines for you. Every 4-bottle box is unique and sent directly to you. We're talking about high-quality private label wines that you wouldn't probably get by any other means. Bright Cellars is offering 60% off their first 4-bottle box, that's 4 bottles, for $38. Crazy value! By clicking the link in the description down below, you're not only becoming a wine connoisseur, but also helping me make more videos like this. And to that I say... Cheers! Also remember this, never drink rosé in Croatia. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. Back to the video. Now, the engine seems to work pretty well with compressed air, but for me to be able to call it a steam engine, it needs to be able to work with steam. And to get some steam, I used my pressure cooker. The pressure cooker worked well with my steam turbine, but the truth is that the max steam pressure I can get with this pan is about one and a half bar, which is not much. But because I don't really have a better solution to generate steam, I had to give it a try. The engine did work with steam, but because the pressure was dropping pretty quickly in the pressure cooker, well, the running time was less than 15 seconds. But that doesn't really matter, does it? I 3D printed a working steam engine out of plastic. That's pretty damn cool, isn't it? You don't need to answer that. It is pretty cool. The best part of it is that I designed the entire engine to be 3D printed without support material, which means that basically anyone can 3D print it. Unless you don't have a 3D printer. In that case, you can. But even with that problem, I think I can give a little help. In my last video, I gave away a 3D printer to the most liked comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The winner was Mike Curry, and he suggested that I could build a glider. Well, I never really built anything that flies, so that seems interesting. If you also want to win a 3D printer, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will receive a brand new 3D printer. Well, um, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! Okay.
I was not expecting that. <laughs> I don't want a pulse jet, I want a wish bottle. Ah. Uh, uh, next.